Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Michelle Fondon. I'm the author of Twin Flame Romance, The Journey to Unconditional Love. I'm also the author of Twin Flame Union, Seven Keys to a Healthy Twin Flame Journey. All of my books are available in paperback, Kindle, and Audible books. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for subscribing below. Click on the bell, scroll up to all for all notifications. And thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. I do readings, 30, 60, and 90 minute readings, twin flame romance, general readings, life path and purpose. You can book that at my website, michellefondenauthor.com. Welcome to the Divine Feminine Empowerment Tarot Reading. This is for July of 2023. So now with the readings for DMDF and the Twin Flame Collective reading, I'm going to be doing them once a month. So look out for those and they'll be good for the entire month. To start, we are going to say a blessing over the cards. Dear God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, Mother Mary, Archangels, Angels of God, Divine Feminines, Guardian Angels, let this reading be the highest light and love of God the Father. Let it bring light, love, and truth to everyone involved. Archangel Michael, stand guard, casting away any lower energies with your sword of light. Romance angels, twin flame angels, please help divine feminines around the world understand what they need to know to learn and to grow. So we're going to see where you're at, divine feminine, and what spirit is calling you to do in July. So maybe this will resonate in, in its entirety for you, Divine Feminine, or maybe only partially. But either way, take what you can from this reading and whatever happens to resonate with you. So where are Divine Feminines going, learning, growing? Prince of Autumn. <laughs> Prince of Autumn. This is the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, if you're more used to traditional tarot. So we have got the Prince of Autumn, which is about slow and steady wins the race. It's about plodding ahead one step at a time, one step in front of the other. What this also means, Divine Feminine, is that it's in your best and highest interest not to skip steps in your life if you've been working on a project if you've been working on your own healing, this means please, by all means, go ahead, move ahead, but don't skip steps. Because if you skip steps, you're just going to have to go back and do those steps over again. So make sure to dot the I's and cross the T's and whatever you happen to be doing in July of 2023. So we're going to get another card that's going to indicate where Divine Feminines are heading in this collective. Awakening! Awakening! Well, we've got the Hanged Man card here. This is the Hanged Man, and it does say Awakening. So for some of you, this could be the next phase in your Awakening. Now, what's interesting is that the Hanged Man card, this card, this one, this is Awakening, is often about a pause. It's about things being held back, things not moving forward, things needing to move forward in divine timing, or it could just be something that's moving ahead pretty slowly. And the reason why it's moving ahead rather slowly, Divine Feminine, is so that you can look at things from a different perspective. Have you ever been on a hike, Divine Feminine? And like, for example, you're in the forest, in the woods, you're on a hike, and you want to get to the summit fast. You wanna to get to the end of the forest fast. You want to get to your goal fast. And so you're hiking, but you're sprinting. And as you're hiking along to get to your goal, you miss a lot of the beauty of nature around you. However, if you go about it, just hiking to hike, if you're like, I'm just gonna like have a leisurely hike. It's Sunday. I don't need to like speed ahead. I don't need to trudge ahead. Like I'm on a race. 
But if you're just like, yeah, I'm gonna like plod along, kind of like the Prince of Autumn, I'm just gonna plod along, plod forward through the forest, through the mountain, wherever you happen to be hiking, and you stop and you notice things. You notice a bug, a flower, a tree, a plant, birds, and you stop in wonder and awe and notice the beauty of things. And so that's what this awakening card is about. The hanged man is about, hey, suspend your disbelief that your life isn't moving forward according to plan or the way you want it to move forward. And you need to like look at things, look at things from a different perspective, look at things from another perspective and notice what you're needing to notice. Notice the things that you might be missing when you're sprinting ahead, when you are not taking things A, B, C, D, E, F, G, when you're skipping letters, when you're skipping steps. So this is a very slow moving energy. It's slow, it's flowing, it's designed to get you to stop and notice things, stop, and enjoy the process, enjoy the journey, rather than sprinting ahead. So this is the angel therapy deck. Let's see what else your angels and guides have to say to you throughout July of 2023. What else needs to be said, angels? Sacral chakra, yeah, this is hilarious. This is actually hilarious because feminine energy in and of itself is a slower moving energy. It's slow. It's like water, earth qualities. We often think of mother nature as being a divine feminine energy. And so when we think of mother earth, we think about earth's rhythms, earth cycles. And earth rhythms and earth cycles move according to how they move. They don't move according to your timeline. So when it's summer and you're a person who loves winter, you can gripe and groan all you want during the course of the summer. And it's not going to make winter come any faster. And so the divine feminine with the sacral chakra, the divine feminine energy is about moving slowly, is about noticing things, is about enjoying the beauty of life, the beauty and wonder and awe of life. So for example, when you're pregnant and you gotta wait the nine months for your baby to be born and you're on your 40th week and there's still no baby and everybody's calling you, all your family and friends are calling you going, did you have the baby yet? Are you having labor pains yet? And you get annoyed and impatient and angry and frustrated. And the thing is, the baby's gonna take the time it needs to grow. The baby needs that nine months to grow. It's gonna take the nine months to grow. A very feminine, passive, slow moving energy you are highly sensitive to chemicals, additives, processed foods, and energies right now. Respect your sensitivity by avoiding harsh items, situations, and relationships. So this is also sacral chakra. That's the second chakra. It's about honoring your femininity, honoring your sensitivity, and your awareness to things being more closely related to nature versus trying to get yourself into a state artificially. So for example, a weight loss journey, this is just an example, a weight loss journey that requires time, effort, a lot of effort sometimes, <laughs> very careful planning, doing meal planning, planning on doing your workouts, planning daily to go for your walks, planning on getting enough sleep, planning your groceries. It requires Prince of Autumn, 
a lot of time, effort, and if you skip steps, it's not going to happen. Well, what this is saying with the sacral chakra is you can opt to lose weight by taking a bunch of pills and taking shortcuts but that's going to hurt your natural feminine energy because it's going to jar the body into doing something that it might not be prepared to do had you taken the proper steps to move forward. And we all know people that do yo-yo dieting, for example, where they start something like a fad that is slated to be fast, you can lose 30 pounds in 30 days and they do it. They take the, the herbs or the pills or the whatever it happens to be. And then after 30 days, they might lose 30 pounds, but after 60 days, they gain the 30 pounds back. What else do you need to say to the divine feminine? Singing and dancing. Singing and dancing is more divine feminine, sacral chakra energy. Oh my goodness. I really have a feeling that the angels are trying to get you this month in July of 2023 to unlock more of your feminine energy. And that's in the sacral chakra as well. So the chakras, at least the chakras of matter, they go in opposites because you have yin energy, you have yang energy, you have masculine and feminine energy. So the root chakra is a representation of yang energy and the yin energy, which is feminine, is in the second chakra. And then the third chakra goes back to yang and the fourth chakra goes back to yin. So they do alternate. And what we're speaking about here with the sacral chakra which is about honoring your sensitivity, movement, dancing, flow, is a very yin energy. So what I believe that your angels want you to do is get more into the flow of things with nature, honoring nature's rhythms, honoring your natural body rhythms. One way you can do this is by honoring your creativity because the sacral chakra is also the chakra of creativity. Now this might be by literally dancing, right? By literal singing and dancing, or it could be something a little more metaphorical singing and dancing for you. So just movement, activity, that's more flowing in nature. Like swimming, for example. Swimming, if you're not doing competitive swimming, of course. <laughs> swimming is a more flowing activity, right? Tai Chi, Qigong, slow yoga, yin yoga. There's definitely a yoga called yin yoga, which is called cool, passive, feminine yoga. Now, some people, like I saw at my gym, some people are doing hot yin yoga, which is the antithesis of yin yoga. Yin yoga in and of itself is supposed to be softer, gentler, feminine slow, holding the poses for three to five minutes. Just like this Prince of Autumn, he's not moving quickly. So this is about you honoring the feminine within all of this month. It's interesting how these cards are coming out to find feminine. So let's look at the Heal Yourself reading cards. Heal Yourself reading cards, please and thank you. Okay, we've got temptation, number 19. Temptation, temptation. The first thing that's coming to me is temptation to going back to old energies that no longer serve you. The temptation card, the, the thing that I'm hearing the most divine feminine is moving back to old energies that do not serve you anymore. I'm gonna, I'm gonna outline this for you, okay? So for example, if you've been used to hooking up, like for example, you go back out on the dating game, right? 
you're single, you go back out in the dating game. And in your past, before spiritual awakening, you decided to misuse the energy in your sacral chakra, which is the sexual and creativity center. You decide to misuse it by sleeping with people willy nilly, right? By like, I just need to take care of my sexuality, my sensuality. And so I'm just gonna hook up with people or I'm gonna sleep with someone after the first date or I'm just gonna hook up with a bunch of people. <laughs> And that is a misuse of this sacral energy, especially once you're aware, once you are awakened, okay? And so that is the temptation to go back into older energies. Another temptation might be overeating, over drinking, overusing of substances, and that's all sacral chakra stuff too. So let's have a look and see what this book has to say about this card. Temptation. Life is full of temptations and right now you are being asked to choose the higher path. So you're being asked to choose the higher path, meaning the higher expression of the sacral chakra, the higher expression, not the lower expression of the sacral chakra. So think of the lower expressions of the sacral chakra being lust, right? Like having sexual expression that is in the lower realms, <laughs> having um, overeating, over drinking, like having those addictions, over gambling, over shopping, over spending. Those are lower expressions of the sacral chakra. Your need to prove that you are worthy and important is clouding your true purpose and tempting you to make wrong decisions. Become aware of what is happening in your life right now. Are you feeling bored in a relationship and looking for something outside of your partnership instead of being honest and working on the challenges you're experiencing or moving out? Is there a work opportunity that is tempting you to act without integrity in order to get there? Are you using money as an excuse not to follow your heart? This card asks you to focus on the bigger picture. Be honest with yourself and take the higher path. Another opportunity that is grander than what you have imagined is on its way. Just be open to it and allow it into your life. There you go. So I think this is really all about sacral chakra, divine feminine energy, honoring the slowness that is yin energy. Not the fast and furious, but the slow and steady wins the race. Let's have a look to see which divine feminine archetype is with us this month in July of 2023. So angels and guides, divine feminine archetypes, which one of you is looking after us and giving us advice to follow for July of 2023? We've got Rabia, the queen of saintly women. And I think we have already gotten this before. Rabia, the queen of saintly women. Wow. Okay. Let's have a look to see what Rabia has to say. I am in service of divine love. I move the way love asks me to move. And it's interesting because it says, I move the way love asks me to move. This whole reading has been about movement, yin movement, slow, steady, pause, singing, dancing, flow, right? So that's so interesting. Rabia represents a rare, pure love that doesn't seek anything other than simply to love. Rabia was one of the most influential Sufi women in Islamic history. She is a Muslim saint and a Sufi mystic who lived in the 8th century in Basra, present-day Iraq. On the night she was born, her father had a vision of Muhammad. He told him, your newly born daughter is a favorite of the Lord and shall lead many Muslims to the right path. When Rabia was still just a little girl, her father died and she was sold into slavery. She would pray every night to be released so that she could spend the hours of her day in service of Allah, the Arabic word for God. When her master overheard her prayers and saw that she was illuminated with light as she prayed, 
he realized she was a saint. He released her immediately. She went into the desert and worshiped in solitude. Rabia became known as the queen of saintly women because of the purity of her love and devotion to Allah. She set forth the doctrine of divine love known as ishq e hakiki Her poetry emphasized her desire to worship for the sake of loving Allah and not for personal gain. In one of her poems, she says, I carry a torch in one hand and a bucket of water in the other. She wants to set fire to heaven and put out the fires of hell so that her love seeks no gain except to be in service of love itself. She explains, I do not want to worship for fear of punishment or for the promise of reward, but simply for the love of Allah. When your soul selects her card, in her lifetime, Rabia embodied a freedom that divine love offers us. If we see her life as a metaphor of the soul's progression, she went from slavery to sainthood by devoting herself to Allah. Her only concern was the love that she could give to God. Her every action was motivated by her devotion to God, and through it, she received the most greatest spiritual gift, self-realization. Although it can be very difficult, loving without expectations is a profound spiritual practice. So here's the thing. Her love was very passive in the way that it wasn't seeking anything in particular. She wasn't moving toward a goal. She wasn't moving toward a reward. It was very passive and it was very present moment. So I do believe that in this reading, your angels in July are asking you to be immersed in the now, to be immersed in the present moment, to appreciate the beauty of nature and the way nature moves, to make sure that you and your endeavors move forward step by step, steadily, moving forward, looking at the things around you, appreciating the things around you, and you will learn how to embody more of that raw divine feminine energy and heal everything within your sacral chakra. So I hope this was helpful, Divine Feminine. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel below. Click on the bell, scroll up to all for all notifications. And thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing this video with other twin flames. And thank you so much for your support of my YouTube channel. You can buy one of my 10 published books. You can join one of my Twin Flame Divine Feminine boot camps or my meditation course. You can also join our group coaching. The links are all below and I will see you in the next video.